Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Railroad Corporation. Uh, we are working on, I think, about to start mission three or four. I actually don't remember how <laughs> suddenly. Uh, but we've been playing this. It's been a lot of fun so far. Uh, we do have a little bit of experience here, so I need to plug that in. And then we can get right into either three or four mission, whichever one. Uh, what do we already put in? I know we put in some stuff somewhere... Did we put those in or did we already get... Oh, no, we got these in. Okay, I see I see what's going on here. I think the green ones are which ones we can select. Gotcha. I mean, I like the idea of locomotives costing even less. Uh, profit from passengers is also pretty good. Upkeep being less. I mean, honestly, all three of those are really solid. Don't get me wrong. There's a lot of other really good things in a lot of these. I, I'm less concerned about the employee stuff right this second, although we might start getting into where that becomes more of a deal. Even the research feels a little bit less... Um, Useful, although the locomotive max age and max mileage and fuel consumption, all that stuff looks pretty solid. And of course, the, the building stuff, just laying tracks, laying tunnels, laying bridges, all that kind of thing. I think I'm going to stick with these. Uh, we got 1850, so that's enough for, oh, not quite enough for those two. The locomotive's costing less and that one. Um, man, if we'd finished one more of those missions, we could have gotten two of these for sure. I mean, I can get these two if I wanted to, but I really like the locomotive's costing less from the beginning or the upkeep of all locomotives. Let's just do locomotives costing less from the beginning. And we'll circle back and get some of these other ones later. All right, let's go to the next mission. Success with a contract for Atlanta should not turn your head. New successes are waiting for us. We're moving to the northeast, namely uh, Utica, Utica. In this region, I actually don't know how to say that. Uh, in this region, we are going to establish a stable business and I already have a clear plan. First of all, build a lumber mill, as well as organize the production and marketing of, of its goods then build a steel mill and a tool factory. At some stage, there's a need to purchase or sell goods, then the trading department in the office and the warehouse will help you. I do like the idea of the warehouse because that means we can store stuff, I would assume. Uh, we will sell tools in Portland. How are we going to the Northeast if we're going to Portland? <laughs> Everything is pretty simple. But that is not all. Did you notice how the railroad has a positive effect on the city's economy? A good friend of mine asked me to build a railroad to Albany, Hartford, Stratford, and provide the city with as many goods as possible. In return, we won't do it for free, right? Uh, in return, the company will receive tax incentives. Uh, yes, I think it can be called tax incentives. This will be very beneficial cooperation or cooperation between these cities and our co company. Come on, I'm sure you can rely on you. Okay, let's go. So, yeah. Um, what, what do we got? Where's Portland? Is there like a Portland, Maryland? Or maybe a Portland... There's got to be a Portland somewhere in... Uh, this is Boston. I get that. So this would be... Would this be... Is this the divider between uh, New Hampshire and Vermont? So maybe this is... Is this... Is there a port in Maryland? Is Portland the capital of Maryland? Is this something stupid like that? <laughs> or no, Maine. Maine, not Maryland. Maine. Portland, Maine, right? That is a thing. Okay, I think that's a thing. I used to know my geography, and suddenly I'm stupid. Um, we got Albany. Of course, I know that's in New York. Um, cool. All right. We are starting here in Utica. Utica? Sure. Uh, we got to construct a sawmill. I guess I could pause it. Are we going? Oh, we are going. Oh, no, we are going. Let me pause the game. Uh, we construct a sawmill, construct a steel mill, build a warehouse, work faster for an experience. Okay, yeah, we got to get this done in, what is that, three years? Yeah, something like that. So, sawmill. I mean, we can build the sawmill here, right? Like, that's the, that's the whole point. And just bring the saw, the, the lumber or the, the wood in to Harrington's Railroad. Uh, we got wood down there. Looks like that is the closest wood. We do have wood over here by Marlboro. But it does appear that Sangerfield is the closest wood. So, sawmill would be... Uh, how did we do that last time? Was it from here? No, it wasn't from here. I forgot how we built the sawmill last time. Is it, is it not a new facility, was it? Da -da 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 -da, coal warehouse... I forget how we did it last time. Suddenly. Um, why am I blind and dumb? I mean, we do want some of these other things. I know, oh, and also, I'd like to start off with the double tracks, because the double tracks was hugely beneficial to us, I think. We do have a guy we can purchase of all... Price of all locomotives is cheaper. Uh, he actually needs more square meters than we currently have. So if we go to our office, then we do have enough money to go ahead and upgrade this right away. 
and research and development hr department so we need the hr to be able to hire anybody right so we'll grab that that does mean we can go ahead and hire him i think he's a good person to hire he's gonna make a lot of things cheaper and then what else we want to grab we want to grab can this actually be upgraded oh i did not know these could be upgraded was that in there last time and i just was blind as a bat probably uh filling station speed repair shop I mean, we do obviously need a repair shop eventually um so I think that's pretty important. And these can also be upgraded. Okay. And cheaper maintenance, faster maintenance, coal warehouse. And when did we get the second track? There. Okay. So let's go ahead and start off with the second track. Just because I'd like to remember that we have it. And we can kind of go with that. Uh, and then I do want to come over here and we want to get set up to this thing down here. So that'll be our first train. First track. Let's see how we're going to do this. Um... I mean, more than likely, what we want to do is just have two tracks going anyway, just so they can kind of pass each other. Maybe not partic particularly to this one. This one may not be as important to have multiple tracks because it's just a single, you know, whatever. I wonder if there's going to be a point where... I, I know I keep asking about this. Is there going to be a point where we can build longer railroads? I would imagine there would be. So this will get us the logs coming in. We do want to go ahead and get this train coming in. And I think we're just going to go ahead and switch over to the John Bull from now on. Because I think long term... This one will be, I mean, it's less max age and a lot more fuel consumption, right? But it's going to be able to haul more, ultimately, is what it kind of comes down to. So I think we're going to go ahead and go with the John Bulls. And we do want to, um, so we're going to go to Singerfield. And we're going to load up on as much logging as we can. Let's see where we're at, 38, 37, 33. I mean, 33 might not be bad. That's actually really not that much lower. We might be better, fine with just the three, though, and go 37 miles per hour. Make it faster loads, maybe. That might work. And then we'll go ahead and add the station here in uh, our hometown, and we'll unload three logs. Okay, so let's go with that. Currently, we're just selling the logs. I just want to get it rolling. We can definitely swap that over to um, um, the uh, lumber mill here in a moment. As soon as I remember how we bought it last time. I'll be honest, it's been a few days since I last recorded an episode. So I'm suddenly forgetting how we did that. Uh, we do have the HR department that could also be upgraded. And that's pretty useful. Railroad lane department. I mean, we do want the research development. So let's go ahead and grab that. That's pretty important. This can be upgraded with uh, five additional scientists. Just more scientists, which is... Which we might come into need at some point, but for right now, I think we're going to be okay. We've completed everything for our first two trains, so we're really coming over here to this next train. All locomotives' fuel consumption is less, so let's go ahead and start, obviously, researching that. We'll put in the max scientist there, because it's the only one we can research at the moment, anyway. And we'll get that done quickly. Alright, so we've got the lumber coming in. Um, we do have passengers over here if we want to start setting that up to Albany. Oh, there's land for sale. Oh, that's that what just happened last time? Did we already have the thing? We just bought the thing that was already there? Okay, I'm starting to understand a little bit more. I think we hadn't seen this last time, right? So we do want to build a small sawmill. Or do we want to build a sawmill? No, there's no land for sale down here. So I think we want to build a sawmill here, right? So we'll build a sawmill there. That's starting to make a bit more sense. Uh, we did sell the first bit of lumber, but that's okay. Once this train... We're actually going to go ahead and edit this train's unload. And we're going to go ahead and close all these. We're going to tell you to unload in the sawmill itself. That works much better. Now, it does mean we have less money coming in. But then we can sell the... Um, so there's the city market. I don't think we've worked with the city market, have we? Okay. So I need to play around with this a little bit more. <laughs> we've got to figure this out. Um... We do want to get a passenger line to Albany. I actually think Albany is going to be a good, be a good enough one that we want to go ahead, just go ahead and get the two rail tracks set up right away. So we're going to go ahead and get a line set over here to Albany. Just as is. And then we're going to go ahead and come down here to this one. Come on. Why are you? Oh, got to close that up. We want to select this and we're going to go ahead and upgrade this until we can get to the second track. Uh, in the meantime, we could... I may just go ahead and install the fill up because we do have something available there and that's going to be fine for now. And I do want to go ahead and lay the second track down just so we don't ever have any issues with, with Albany here. Um, why are you, do I have you on the wrong side? 
inside inside that should in theory allow me to just you would think this would just plug right up alongside that I mean I guess we'll just do that and then do that a little weird but I guess at the end of the day it does the exact same thing and it just gives me a branch off one I suppose that becomes a thing all right so we do have a double rail track here so it means any trains we send here will just be quick and good um and I think we just go ahead and set up a train that does passengers and we don't really need any mail yet so just passengers for now and I'm tempted to just do the best friend because it doesn't need much, but we will do. Honestly, passengers don't typically weigh that much, do they? 12 tons versus 15 tons. I might just do a cheapo little best friend here and just let that kind of go do its thing. It's going to go to Albany and it's going to pick up um, basically as many passengers as it can before it really drops some things. Well, maybe just a couple passengers, just, just, just a quick little back and forth here. Um, we're also unloading any passengers and we're going to add a station to here and we're going to load up again, a couple passengers, unload a couple passengers. And we might have run out of passengers in, uh, our main city here, but I think it'll eventually get grow to be, an, get enough passengers for later. So, all right. So that gets us a nice little train. That's just going to get us some money because this one over here is not really going to be making us money right now. We do have a couple places for sale over here that we can buy. Maybe this is where we put our, our warehouse at some point. Uh, let's go back to our achievements here. So we do need to put a steel mill down. So probably a steel mill in Albany makes the most sense. We will need to get it coal and we will need to get it ore, which the ore comes from up here in Old Forge. Um, Warsenberg, Wartown. Okay, so there's oil up there. There's oil in there. Them, them there hills. Um, so maybe the coal. Yeah, we need to get the coal coming in. I mean, it already asked for coal, so we can just go ahead and get the coal set up so that it's already starting to make a little bit of money. What do you got for me? Rails and tunnels are cheaper. I mean, we might as well hire you if we got the space for it, just to make things cheaper. Uh, if we need to get you down here, you really going to do some sort of weird bendy bit here? I mean, it makes sense. That is a very strange path. Um, would it be better to branch off the other side? That's going to be a really long track. I mean, there's really no good way to get to Greenville here, is there? I mean, I can go through Sangerfield, but just because of the angle of this, is there a better... You know what? The coal over here might just be better, even though it's going to be going across the water. It kind of feels like this is just a better um, angle. I mean, it's a little bit weird, but it's okay. I think that'll get the job done. And we will go ahead and get a... Uh, one of our John Bulls. I mean, eventually I would imagine we've got two different types of trains. We've got a freight train and then we're going to have a passenger train. Passenger train is my guess is going to be fast. Whereas the freight train is most likely going to be, um, you know, just be able to carry a lot, right? Very, very heavy. Uh, we want to add a station to Salisbury and you're going to load up as much coal as you can. Probably just the three. And you're going to go to Albany for now. No, no, Albany. I think I wanted to go to... Oh, no, sorry, Albany. That's the place we're going to build it. Yeah, yeah. Because it's got the two spaces available. And we're going to unload. For now, we're going to unload the three coal just to get some money coming in until I get the rest of the stuff built. Got 146,000 bucks. We did just finish the research, so I do need to go ahead and keep going. So we got the DeWitt Clinton here, which compared to the... Um, let me pause for a second. Compared to the one we got, it's more expensive, obviously. It's got a lower pulling mass, though. This is a 25... 85 ton, I should say, just because of all the bonuses. But even without those bonuses, it's a 65 ton base this is a 45 ton base but this is exactly what i just said this looks like this is our um our transport for people this will be more of our transport for goods because this is gonna be able to pull heavier things whereas this one's gonna be able to just go really fast so uh i mean we still want to start research obviously so let's go ahead and just get all of our people into that one and we'll go from there um so let's pause here and we do have mail here. We don't have mail there. Okay. We got the coal coming in. Uh, so I do eventually want to go ahead and build the um, iron thing here. We are going to start getting lumber here. Yes. Yeah, we're starting to get lumber here. We got seven already. We start getting the lumber to Albany as well. Um, probably what I'm going to do is just get a second train that runs alongside because it shouldn't interfere since there's double tracks here with T2. We're we'll just going to get us a John Bull train here. That goes from where we're at and loads up lumber. 
Mm, we'll do three. It's fine. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. And then we go to um, Albany. And we unload the lumber. So anything we want to load up from Albany, come back? I don't think so. I think this is really just a kind of a one-way trip here. But it should get the job done. Get us a little bit of money from our sawmill, finally. All of our lines are currently non-profitable. Um, not a huge surprise there, to be perfectly honest, because we're just really starting to get stuff laid out. Do, 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 do. I'm doing the science already. Okay, let's go back over here. We still need to get the steel mill. Steel mill is going to be in Albany. Uh, we could go ahead and just buy the land so we can at least see what the steel mill is going to cost us. 105000 bucks. So we got a lot of ways to go before we get that. So far, so good. We got a wheat field over here, which we could bring all the way back to uh, Utica here and get a little bit of money from that. Not a lot. Sawmill's still doing its thing. Is there a way to upgrade the sawmill? Mm, no, nah, it's just city market stuff. Nothing, nothing upgradable that I can see at the moment. Okay, um, what is next on our, our list here? I mean, mail coming from Springfield all the way back to Albany wouldn't be that bad. But... Maybe not super critical right this second. We do have enough money to get the steel mill. Now, we don't have the rest of the supplies coming in for the steel mill, but... We still need to get ore coming down from Old Forge. Probably going through War Warrensburg, even though we're not going to probably do anything in Warrensburg currently. Just kind of have it pass through there and then come down to Albany. That's probably exactly what we want. So what we're going to do there then is we're going to go ahead and railroad, lay the stuff down. I mean, I guess we branch off one side of this. Is that going to be... I guess it's only going to be a single train, really. We're not going to have a bunch of trains passing each other coming from this direction, I don't think. A little lag here as we're trying to place this down. It's trying to do the calculations. We'll do that, and then we'll go to Warsenburg. Okay. Confirm that. Uh, or Warrensburg, sorry. Warrensburg. And then we'll just have Warrensburg just go straight up to Old Forge. All right, so that's just one line that's just going to go all the way through. No big deal. Uh, so we do want us to get us another train. Uh, we got another person. Cheaper salaries and things like that. I mean, that's probably useful at some point, but I'm not concerned about it right now. We are going to buy this. It's going to go to um, Old Forge, right? Now, Old Forge. And it's going to load up as much ore as it can. Freeze a bit. 30 miles an hour is still probably okay. I think I'm still going to do that one. Let's see. Let me, let me just do the math real quick. So if I go, let's call this essentially, it's 10% slower. Um, what's the best way to do this? I'm going to call this close enough to 40. So 75% of what this is, more or less, to do three. But it's basically in... My brain is not doing math all of a sudden. No, it's got to be better, right? In the time it takes us to do... We're going to do six in two trips. It'll take us... Essentially two hours, if it was 30 miles. Whereas currently it would take us... Um, my brain... I, I know how to do this math. My brain is... So, you know, I'm not even going to worry about it. <laughs> if I have to think about that much, it's not worth thinking about. I know how to do that math. I just... I've, I'll be honest, I've had a long day. Uh, I'm kind of tired today. So this is why you do not do math publicly. I know how to do that math, but for some reason my brain is telling me you're an idiot, which is probably true, actually. Uh, oh, I never built the steam mill, so... So let me cancel this for a second. Actually, I do need to build the steel mill. So we do need a little bit of money before I can do that. So I can't act... That train's just going to sit there for a moment. And once we get a little bit of profit, we'll be able to build the steel mill. And then I'll be able to set this, this line up. It's only going to be a one train for right now. Uh, again, I don't need the second line any, or anything like that. I'm sure there's a reason why I don't want it coming off this other line, but for now it'll be okay. Actually, can I? Do they do like cross tracks? Is there a concept of cross tracking? It doesn't look like it. Where it would be able to do the signals and things like that. I think there are signals at some point, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I can set the directions, right? So I can have that one only go that direction, this one only go 
that direction. Uh, that one's both directions, but basically means as you're leaving here, you can either go there or go there. I think that makes a lot of sense. You would never come from Utica to up there anyway. Well, not not initially. You'd have to go through Albany no matter what. Those are both directions. Those are both. Okay, I think this... I mean, I don't know if how much how relevant it will be to have the double directions, but I think it, it will work. Uh, so I just need the 110000 bucks. How profitable are we? Got anything profitable yet? Yeah, we got the Albany uh, lumber thing here. Is profitable so far. That's good. Uh, obviously, this one from S uh, Sangerfield is not going to be profitable anytime soon just because we're not selling that, right? That's basically always going to be not profitable. I do want to get the passengers from here soon or maybe the mail from Springfield. Oh, okay, we got enough money for the uh, thing. Uh, there it is. We want to construct the steel mill. Oh, it's actually only 105. All right, now we can go ahead and have this locomotive that's not doing anything. We're going to go to Old Forge, load up some ore, and then we're going to go to um, Albany, and we're going to unload the ore at the steel mill. And then we're going to change that other one too. Uh, so that's good. Oh, I did the wrong thing. I was like, what? Uh, there. So that's going to unload three. And then the one coming from coal here, it's going to, in Albany, not do that. Instead, it's going to unload here. All right, that works. So now we got both of those going. Do you know why we're doing it? Recently, the demand for tools has increased significantly. However, there are no tool factories nearby. What do you think that means? No, we will not translate them from faraway land. Instead, we will establish a full cycle of production tools. Then when demand drops a little, the factories will pay off. The cost will be optimized and this will become a stable business. In the future, it will also be necessary to buy up mines and logging companies then no new player can easily enter the market. Attempt to transport the goods, it will be expensive. Produce on their own, it is also necessary to establish a production line while competing with us. How is it going? It's time to build tool factory. That's just a reminder. Okay, so we do still need a tool factory, um, which I'm assuming will be... Do we want that in Albany? I mean, we have space. Is there a reason we don't want that in Albany? There might be. I'm not sure. Part of me wonders if we just want the warehouse in Albany. Um, okay, we don't have any money yet anyway, so let me just speed up a little bit here. Get a little bit of money coming in. Uh, do my trains need repairs yet? Not yet. Oh, we don't have enough money for the color, so we do have to wait a little bit here. I will say hello to my friend from you. I remind you... That you have to build one, build the railroad to Albany Harbor Stratford as soon as possible. Provide the cities with as many good, different goods as possible. Return the companies for these tax incentives. So Albany, Hartford, and Stratford, or Stratford, uh, Albany, Hartford, and or Stratford, Stratford. I'm sure it's right in front of my face, right? There's Albany, Hartford. Why am I blind as a bat? There it is, way up there, Stratford, way up there. Um, so we do want the railroad to Hartford for sure. That is a thing. Uh, employee space requirements, employee salaries goes up. We don't really want that, I don't think. All right, we do have a little bit of money. I don't want to go too low on the money because obviously it's going to cause problems. So let's go and get us a railroad here. All right, so some lines have been doing nothing so let me double check those here in a moment i do need to bring you down to Hart hartford um that's too far i was like why is that not working uh so what lines have been doing nothing salisbury are you waiting for coal you just don't have enough coal over here? No, we got plenty of coal. You're waiting to unload? Mm, no. Okay, Old Forge. There's plenty of iron ore. Iron ore space. So what are we waiting for? <laughs> Why are we doing nothing? Um... Did I mess something up? Old Forge, load up those. Where are you? 
You are T5. Now you're up here. Why are you not loading? Load or mine or or. Am I blind? Why are you not loading? I mean, I get that it's not free. Are you just waiting for... No, you're not waiting for money. You would have had some already. What am I doing wrong? <laughs> what, what am I... What am I missing? Uh, but we don't have a lot of money. Is that all it is? Is it just money? T3's over here. T3's just waiting. What are you waiting for? I am so confused. Am I blind, guys? I'm blind. What am I missing? It doesn't need repairs. And it's got plenty of ore. I'm confused. Why are either of those waiting? We got plenty of money. <laughs> what? Let me pause for a second, because I feel like I'm wasting y'all's time. You know, I'm going to put a cut in there. I'm going to figure out why these aren't loading. And then when we come back, we'll have everything rolling again. So I do appreciate you guys watching, though. May God bless you. And I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.